Hey MTV, welcome to my crib. Um, so this is the second time I'm doing this. Uh, the first time I did this. Let's cut to a clip. It's not open. <laughs> I made a weird voice the whole time. This is the painter. Like I said, we have a nice sunset with the stars and the sun. Uh, the shirt I got for it, um, I threw out because I was positive. It would be, the first shot was good, um, but it wasn't. So now I have to use one of my and own And I shirts. found out that it's too tight on me now. So we're gonna draw a picture again. This time, we're gonna, we're gonna draw up an ass. Let's cut to a clip. <laughs> so I'm gonna move these bananas. So all you need is a canvas, a, ta a dining room table that your family doesn't know you're using, and paint. The first time I did it, I uh, had all paints. Every color there is, I actually had. I lost the, the cap to white. So I don't have white anymore. So if you're following along at home, I want you to take whatever white paint is in your armory. Um, and I want you to throw it away. You do not need paint brushes. You may, might be thinking, why are there no paint brushes? Um, and my response to you is, don't worry about it. Let's cut to a clip. Here's that beautiful curb, and we have Jeremy. I'm going to follow um, what I showed you at the start. Here, let's cut to a clip. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to follow what I'm looking at, and you are going to follow me. So it's kind of like painting telephone. We're painting bananas, but it's bananas how this is like a game of telephone. We're going bananas for a game of telephone. Let's cut to a clip. I want to give it a background first. It is known that if you put white on the on the canvas all over it, it makes the the mixture of the colors that you would put later on easier. But you threw out that white. So don't do that. And I'm thinking light blue 504. The, this is the only paint you're allowed to use. No paint brushes. So feel free to just get your finger. So you might be also thinking, what does it feel like to touch the canvas? And I'm going to be honest, I don't like it. To, um, oh, no. We are going to just go into it. Go ahead and put some black on your finger. Uh, this has three legs, so we're gonna go like this. There's a leg that's coming out once they connect into a circle. Let's just put this leg there. Right. So, um, on this third leg right here, um, we need to draw this leg extending up and it's gonna hook around right there. See, this is where more bananas could actually uh, join us. We're going to try to make this look a little bit more three-dimensional. This is gonna look like a 3D movie. And we're going on to the main course. And everybody say it with me. We're going to go bananas. We're not going lemons for a game of telephone. We're going bananas. We are going to use medium yellow. Uh, 203. Now, so there's... <laughs> now, this is... this. Now, here's some color theory. We're learning science. But yellow and blue, I think, make green. Yellow here, and it makes it... Look like they're just not ripe yet. And let's keep drawing these 
greenish bananas. And we've talked about it so much. How about we put a little bundle of bananas? So we are going to use uh, brown. And we're just going to, as artists, we have the final step um, of our painting. And it's to sign it. Right like that. Well, everyone, that brings us to our end. Uh, we've signed it. We've drawn our picture. So I'm going to show you what I did a little bit closer. And thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. This is how we draw a bundle of bananas uh, and the accordion holder for them. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just going to stop the video. Bye.